Welcome to the 2020 Boston Globe Hornbook Awards. I'm Roger Sutton, Editor-in-Chief of the Hornbook. As you can see, we are virtual this year. This year, the awards will be taking place over the course of October on hbook.com, and I am but the opening bit. I must say that this is a very odd way to mark the 25th time I have presided over these awards, but I'm doing my best to enjoy this silver anniversary. Thank you to everyone who has helped keep the Boston Globe Hornbook Awards going in this difficult year. We thank the Boston Globe, of course, for its generous sponsorship, and we are happy this year to partner with the Globe in its annual Globe Santa Charitable Drive. Every child in the program will receive a BGHB winning book, and I know that some of our winning authors are recording virtual story times that will be available on the Boston Globe website. Ho, 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 where's my Santa suit? The Hornbook staff have been a legion of superheroes this year, finding and implementing new solutions to new problems. Do you think I learned Zooming by myself? From our editorial offices, currently scattered throughout the Boston area, I thank Shoshana Flax, Alyssa Gershwitz, Martha Parabano, and Cindy Ritter. From further afield, I'd like to thank Hornbook publisher Rebecca Miller, Events VP Tracy Fenton, Advertising Director Al Berman, and Marketing Director Kelly Barbieri, who is recording this as we speak. Cassie Sheets from the wilds of Montana ran herd on us all, okay, me, to make sure everything was getting done. Right on cowgirl. Now to the awards. The Boston Globe Horn Book Awards have one criterion, to honor excellence in books for young people. I've never been a member of this committee, nor been privy to any of the discussions, but I wonder how that talk goes. Well, what do you mean by excellence? It is a radically simple criterion. The awards are given in three categories, picture book, fiction, and nonfiction. Poetry hops around, doesn't it? Always. The award year is a little peculiar, running from June 1st of one year to May 31st of the next, encompassing the two seasons of what used to be the traditional publishing year. All books published for young people in the United States are eligible. In the case of a picture book, author and illustrator are honored equally. The three judges must select one winner and up to two honor books in each category. Each winner gets a modest check and engraved, an engraved shiny silver bowl, suitable for candy, mail, or checks mix. The honor recipients each get an engraved silver plate, suitable for calling cards or loose change. This year's three judges appointed by me worked hard. It's a lot of reading. They met by phone and email throughout the past year and made their choices at the end of May in a virtual marathon. We sent snacks. Thank you to Chair Julie Danielson of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, blogger at Seven Impossible Things Before Breakfast, and co-commander with R. Martha of the Colin Caldecott blog. Leo Landry is an author illustrator and a children's book buyer at an unlikely story book starring cafe in Plainville, Massachusetts. And Suhei Lugo is the children's librarian at the Conley branch of the Boston Public Library in Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts. Thank you all for your hard work in giving us such an exemplary roster of books. Here is the part where I would be reminding you to buy books from Terry Schmitz's children's bookshop in residence outside the auditorium and admonishing you not to knock over any of our winners in your rush to get downstairs for the snacks and autographing. Next year, I hope, we will be back at Simmons with Kathy Mercier to do all this in person, but I hope our month of celebration will give our winners their due this year. It really is a splendid clutch of nine books and I am happy we have this opportunity to honor them. Thank you and see you next year one way or another.